My name is Deacon Chad Henry. I'm from Sugarland, Texas. I'm a member of St. Lawrence Parish, and I've been in formation for the priesthood for the Archdiocese since the fall of 2012. I entered right out of high school, and I've been at St. Mary's for the past four years, and I'm about to start my very last year of formation before priestly ordination. So up until my senior year, honestly, I always wanted to be a, a pilot. And so I actually had plans and I was already accepted to go to the University of Oklahoma. And then later in my senior year is when I started to discern the priesthood. So I did have other plans. I, I did was very interested in being a pilot. So I decided to enter the seminary right out of high school because Towards the beginning of my senior year, before I got confirmed, I was in our parish church and I noticed our priest sitting in one of the pews and I thought to myself, this one particular time I saw him, well, I think I want to be a priest. And I, I think back then I, I can't really describe why, I just felt a draw towards it and I think as I've spent years of formation in the seminary, the more I've come to realize that ultimately why I want to be a priest is for the salvation of souls, because at the end of the day that's really what this is all about, is getting to heaven. And a priest plays a particular role in helping the faithful arrive uh, into God's kingdom. What I love most about being in the seminary is probably the first thing is the fraternity. The fraternity is is pretty amazing in the seminary actually. And that's something that I wasn't really expecting I th when I entered, but when I did um, as an 18 year old at Holy Trinity Seminary up in Dallas, I had an amazing class and I made really good friends really quickly guys that I'm still friends with today. And, and now at St. Mary's, it's the same thing. There are a lot of really awesome guys that are also in formation to the priesthood. And living together, working towards the same goal of priesthood forms really strong fraternity with, with different guys. And for me, that's been probably my favorite part or the most enjoyable part of being in the seminary is, is the fraternity that I've established with, with a number of guys who are also studying to become priests. A specific thing from seminary formation I think that's encouraged my discernment would probably honestly be my entire pastoral year, which we do in between second and third theology. So 2018, 2019, I was on pastoral year in Holy Family Parish in Galveston. And honestly, the whole experience of being able to spend a year, an entire academic year in a parish, really gave me a good glimpse into the life of a priest. And also, I just met so many awesome people, and I enjoyed so much being with the priests and the people of the parish that I think that whole year just really made me even more excited about being ordained a priest. I was already looking forward to it, obviously, but, but the time in the parish, I think, really gave me a, a concrete example of what it's like to be a priest in a parish and to interact with, with the families in the parish. And so I would honestly say my whole pastoral year down in Galveston is really probably the most encouraging thing that's happened to me since being in seminary. What kind of priest I'd want to be? I think if I had to put it in one word, I would say faithful. Um, and an example of that would be, so <clears throat> it's kind of an interesting story. My spiritual director from when I was in Dallas, at the seminary in Dallas, he was telling me one day that he knew the priest who was 
actually the one who was called to anoint JFK when he got shot. And <clears throat> he said that this priest, he said he was the priest that if you called him, you knew he was going to show up. You knew that he was going to be there to anoint you and hear your confession. And I think for me, that's the kind of priest that I want to be. That if the people call me for confession or anointing, they'll know that I'll show up. They'll know that I'll be there. And so I think if I had to put it in a word, faithful, a, a faithful priest. So for me, discernment was obviously a lot of prayer, trying to pray every day. I probably wasn't always the best about praying every single day, but that's what's really at the heart of discernment. And then additionally, meeting with my spiritual director every, every two to three weeks just to talk about what was going on. And, and I think just another aspect of discernment is if you, if you think God might be calling you to be a priest, being willing to, to trust that He knows you well enough, that God, obviously He knows you better than you know yourself, but to trust that the call that He's placed on your heart is what He's created you to do. Even if it's not what you originally had planned, trust that God knows you well enough that He knows that this is going to be fulfilling to you. And in order to enter the seminary, you don't have to know on day one, 100%, that you're called to be a priest. But you go to the seminary to discern more, to see if God is calling you to be a priest. And so one thing I would just throw out there for, for people is if you think God might be calling you to be a priest, take that seriously. Um, and you don't have to be 100% certain to go into the seminary. Um, but, but trust that if the Lord is calling you to this, that he, He'll give you all the graces you need and that you'll live a fulfilled life because this is what He's created you to do if this is what He's calling you to do.